to our team coverage tonight with Fox 40's Jeannie Nguyen, who is live for us tonight in Yuba County, where the Golden Fire forced evacuations uh, of homes, even a school in the relatively small town of Camptonville, burning about 25 acres. Jeannie, we know that. So looking behind you in that live picture, you can obviously see some smoke in the background, uh, but you've been there for quite some time. Uh, give us a better idea of what's happening. The fire risk was pretty high today with the winds and the red flag warning, but as the golden fire started, fire crews back here responded quickly to put out the flames. It's this wind that made this fire challenging for firefighters as they work to contain the golden fire. It was technically just east of our house up the hill, so luckily we were downhill from it. Brian Phillips is a Camptonville resident and got right to work to help fire crews along Highway 49. We were told to go get the dozer running. Luckily, we're already certified Cal Fire and Forest Service. Ohio National Forest DPA. Cal Fire crews got the call just before 7 this morning, and as the day progressed, the weather started to work in their favor. With the winds dying down, that we're seeing right now, we're starting to gain a little ground on it, but it has spotted on both sides of Highway 49. So far, firefighters have been able to put out the flames here along Highway 49. As you can see here, there's some of the smoke still left over from this morning. I, I have a lot of confidence in our folks that are working out there. We have hand crews and dozers and fire engines, as well as the aircraft up in the air working on the fire. And it just so happened this morning, Congressman Doug LaMalfa announced $6.6 million in funding for fire safety and crews for Nevada County. Bring more peace of mind, certainly, for the residents around here and for the first responders and their ability to do their jobs. And while crews today feel confident on being able to contain this fire, they still want residents to be aware as we head into the summer months. The public taking their personal responsibility for creating defensible space and hardening their own homes. Of course, we will keep you updated on evacuations and the progress of this fire on air and online at fox40.com. Reporting in Yuba County, Jeannie Nguyen, Fox 40 News. All right, Jeannie.